friendly greetings. I, of course, am Torley Linden, and today I'm going to show you more useful tips on how to use our new search. Remember, new search is only in a release candidate viewer, not the main production viewer yet. So you'll have to use a special viewer until such time we take. We're going to continue to take your feedback and improve things until we get it to a level of quality and stability we're happy with for you in our dear community. So, first of all, you may be interested in knowing if you're a business owner, for example, I've got this store here, nicely provided to me by the kind folks at OnRes. Thanks, guys. How to get your stuff shown in search if you're selling things and you want your objects to be found so they can be purchased and you can make a nice sum of lindens. <laughs> Isn't that the goal? So, for example, I'll just do this very quickly and easily. You want to go into inventory and find something you want to sell. So I've got this art sculpture here, and let me just drag and drop that in world and it reses just there okay and so now I want to sell this art sculpture so I'm gonna right click it and let's see edit it and you'll notice right here it says appropriate enough for sale so I'll set a price 44 Linden's arbitrary number generally you want to set it to sell for copy so that means when someone buys it a copy of this object will be in their inventory unless it's a box with stuff inside like a box of clothing then you want to sell content so they don't have to go through the trouble of unpacking it you may want to experiment with these methods yourself buy things from yourself and see how that works and of course you need to show in search or else it's not going to show up remember this opt-in objects are show off they have they have this show in search off by default. So it helps for your privacy if you don't want something shown. But of course, I want this shown. And in addition to this, what is important to do, and I've got this test parcel here, but just click on the title bar to bring up this about land. And under the options tab, make absolutely sure to check this box, show place in search. Make sure that's checked or else it's not going to show it in search because the reason why objects show within a place's information. So if the place doesn't show, you can't find the objects on this parcel either. Very, very important. And I've selected business because that's what I am. So something really, really important to know is you will not show up instantly. You will not show up instantly in the off search, but it should be within a day or so. The reason why is because it takes some time for the new search to spider and crawl all this information. So just be patient and give it a while. If it doesn't show up in over a day, please do send our gracious search team feedback so we can investigate these problems and help solve them. Thus, while this parcel and my art sculpture aren't yet in the search results, they, be, they should be in a few hours if you like to try for yourself. Remember the parcel name here is just uh, in Torley's store test demo. That should eventually bring it up, I hope. But uh, there are plenty of examples by fellow residents who have already done things. For example, if I just look for some generic word, even store, I should be able to find okay, anything. Ooh, Hippo Technologies, that sounds kind of fun. And if I click through here, you'll notice that items that are for sale, okay, the items that aren't for sale, they are nevertheless set to show in search, but you can't buy them. But the ones that are, they will have prices. In this case, 20 Lindens. Little sucky climbing hippo, oh my gosh. And they will have parcel coordinates as well. I mean, region coordinates within the region of, let's see, well, let's take a field trip. Okay, now, so to get here, all you gotta do, it looks very familiar, it's a teleport button that will beam us over. So this may take some practice, but it's good learning. What you'll, let's see, oh, the search thing disappeared. I'll just pop the back. And okay, 76, 163, 55. Okay, so we're in Hippo Technologies Island and we've got the numbers there. This should work. If it doesn't, I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> 76, 163, maybe this should be more automatic, eh? 55, and let's just teleport over there. Oh, come on. Okay, so we have to manually fly. That's all right, that's all right. So we just fly in here to find this object for sale. Okay, it's on the second floor. Okay, but there we have it. You see, you see, it's the little sucky climbing <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, before I laugh myself into the oblivion of hilarity, that's how you do it. Remember, you can always opt in or out, and you can do the same with your profile. I'll do a quick example. Edit, menu, and profile. I've shown a bit of this before, but a good refresher. I'm set to show in search, and again, it can take a while, up to a day, for you to actually show up. 
every resident will be in here with their minimal with a link to the profile information. So for example, if I search Torley Linden, that's me. It will just say resident profile. Every resident will have this because all this, it just pops up your normal profile, which is always visible. However, if you set show and search, well, I went too quick on that. You will also have this more detailed link with your top picks and your about and your, your profile picture. Oh, that's so nice. And other stuff about you. For example, I have an alt named serendipity poppy. Funny name, I know. She's fun. And you notice that she just has her profile. She doesn't have, uh, just has a profile link. She doesn't have her whole profile because she is not set to show in search. So if I click her, then it just shows her profile as it normally does within the viewer. You can, of course, also opt in your groups. If you go to communicate and, ooh, and you go to groups and let's see here, Watermelon Nation is a good candidate. Info and notice here, I've already set to show in search. And appropriately enough, if I go back to search and if I search for the Watermelon Nation, of course, it has shown in the search. Voila. I've come back to my store with my art sculpture. <laughs> so I encourage you to try these things for yourself. If you're not familiar with them, it's just a few clicks of the button, as you know, like I've shown you. Go ahead and start right-clicking your objects that you want to show up in search and just go ahead and click that show in search button and if appropriate, for sale. And if you set the price to zero, then it will be free. And a great example of that is, for example, the Free Dove place, which is a lot, a lot of fashion goodies. And you'll notice now we've improved Proved it. It will say free, 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 free when things are free. You want to go ahead and try that too if you want to give some freebies away. Very appealing. Please join us. Come on in and in the release candidate viewer, remember it's different from the main viewer, try out our new search. Like it says, we're going to continue to improve it. Please send us feedback. It's very much welcome. This has been Torley Linden showing you the new search in Second Life.